Garrosh versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Victory or death. This is a keep, right? We might even play the deckhand on turn one here. Yeah, I like it. Oh, now we play the first mate, obviously, on turn one. I don't think testing the molten the molten blade is any risk to to my ring streak to be honest not a significant one <laughs> It's the wrong web Um You can buff that, right? No, he cannot buff that. Basically means... Well, but it threatens my deckhands, so I guess we trade in patches and the weapon. And then next turn we go Warx into that Corsair. And then we hope we have him. Ooh, frothing berserker. It's not better than fiery works here. It is right. It's just too good. This one goes face. Let's only use the weapon here and save the first mate because if he has if he has Aldo Peacekeeper, we want to have more minions on the board. I must move quickly. I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's play the war X. Let's do the trades. I think we want to clear his board. There was a reason he played these two cards. And we developed this one. We almost don't lose any damage because the frothing puts it all together. I like it. And from now on it's full face plan. It's annoying if he has the gentle mega soul and gets poisonous, right? So Okay, I think we have him, right? The victory He doesn't even get the get down. Well played. Didn't really test the molten blade, but whatever. <laughs> Gerash versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Victory or death. Oh, there's the molten blade. Huh. No, I guess we can keep it with the war axe and see like how it works out when it's when it's best to get it. It's really annoying if he's buffing that one, right? So I think we need to kill it. Hmm, it's quite nice. Blood and blood. That's that's a bad one. I don't think he can clear this, right? So the cultist will do real work here. Now we are really looking for a late game weapon here, right? To finish him off. Out of my nice, we get the buff for that. Hopefully he doesn't get Waker Flame. 
Oh, it's the same guy? Oh, you're right. Same guy, I didn't even notice. Oh, Eagle Hondo. Ah, but no need for that one now, right? So I think we have a 33% chance to get an excellent late game weapon now each turn. Is it? Is it uh, that many weapons? I'm not convinced. Ooh. But we play this one now, right? The Jade is actually... Actually, the Jade is not that strong. Um... We do just use this one, right? And then the question is if we play around Consecrate or if we can just kill him fast enough. It's also getting a little bit annoying with this deed, I think. Hmm. Next time we cannot play both of these, so I think we still do it like this. Of course, there can be there can be games with too many weapons. That is for sure. That is why I also removed an upgrade. It might be correct to run only one molten blade. Like remove one upgrade, play one molten blade instead. There's a wicker flame. There's an upgrade. Oh, we get an additional Arcanite Reaper. Is that lethal? Not really, right? Do we want to get that Arcanite Reaper already? I'm not sure. What now? A bit awkward here. The mana doesn't really fit. Uh, I think we go for the War X. Do we not? I think we do. Or is the Cochron Elite actually... We could actually play Upgrade maybe. Without using it. That makes more sense curve-wise, right? Please face and then... We, we need to play around Steed, right? Steed is too good here. He can play it. The victory is yours. We get him anyways. I think I want to play two of the Molten Blades right now. Just to test how they, how they perform. This is not good. Bring it on. Don't think I even keep the Frothing Berserker, it's not good enough. Against Warrior it doesn't do that much. Hmm. <laughs> well, if he has not asked first mate, we just lose, right? Might be the quest though. Oh, nice. So... Does that mean we play... I guess we play the Deckhand on turn 1, right? I think we do. We really don't want to draw patches, that's just terrible. And he's still away from that whirlwind effect. Do we want to coin the other deck hand? To get really wrecked next turn? I think we do want to coin the other deck hand. Oh, that's good. The minion. Heroic strike, also good. Let's play around that, uh, that Ravaging Ghoul here a little bit. So here's where you really need that weapon, right? Want that weapon card the most here. Let's hope he doesn't have the Ravaging Ghoul. But he kept the card, so there might be a Ravaging Ghoul now. Yeah, that sucks. Obviously. Nice, we get the War X. It's a good draw. I'm not playing. Am I playing this one now? He can clear with sleep with the fishes, wishes sleep with the fishes whirlwind. So I'm not playing this one now. I want the I want the upgrade weapon. Doesn't really matter the the 
Or that we play it, right? Mm. Even though we save the mana. Um, do we want more face damage here? I think we actually do want more face damage here. Ooh, that kind, that's sweet. And it's not that kind, it's Captain, Saucy Captain. Oh, looks like we got him. Oh, one off. I'm not making armor now because of that mortal strike. Seven. Leroy. But we do get some face damage in with Leroy, right? So we have to do it, I think. So now he needs already the shield block. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Molten Blade is a really terrible top deck, that's true. Nice, we got him. <laughs> that's true. Terrible top deck. Why would he do that? But still, I mean... It is direct damage top deck, right? <clears throat> and at least it's transforming the turn after. Then yeah. But Narga Corsair also usually is a bad top deck. <clears throat> so yeah, let's see. More oh, patches. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can, you can for sure play that. For sure, play the uh, craft that patches and Leroy. We need to kill this guy, right? Hopefully he doesn't have a crawler. Okay, very slow start. He's holding now to get some really big turn, I suppose. Hmm. Do we play this one first? To you. Mm, no, let's play the taunt first, right? Play the taunt first. Because this one has mana reduction now. Uh. That's a good top deck, obviously. Get all the shit. Let's hold the hook. Yeah, this is a very hard matchup. It's highly favored for the, for the druid anyways. So he's going white this turn. Ah, oh, damn it. He has that second weapon destruction. It's terrible. Oh, he should not go face here in my opinion. That's a mistake. Mm, yeah, I think we need to kill one of the smaller ones. Okay, maybe if he had the blue gill for the trade. Hmm. Still not convinced. Does he have seven draw now? 
In full face. Can you do that? I'm not sure. I guess it might be correct. Now we need to armor up, right? Kinda. Maybe he has another savage raw. Not sure. We could actually trade away the big one. Trade away six damage. Are we winning that way? I don't think we are. If he has the second savage raw or swipe, I think we lose anyways. And he has it, I guess. My top takes it. Or the blue girl or what? Fine. Still no molten blade action here. <laughs> so many games. Four games. Not really anything happening with the molten blade. <laughs> 